Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is another episode of your OGR as today is game 6 as the Edmonton Oilers went up against the Toronto Maple Leafs as this one was a bit of a greasy one for the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, as they, they played very well. I'll give them that for Toronto Maple Leafs. They did very well. They scored on the two power plays. We didn't do very well on our special teams, but this was a game where I felt the Edmonton Oilers played very well. Um, the penalties that we we took were really bad penalties and that uh, penalties that we didn't need to take like the Kyle Turris hooking penalty there on Justin Hall and also the Devin Shore hooking penalty there on Mitch Marner um it was just cases where we got stuck in our own zone and we couldn't clear the puck out of our own zone and uh we just kind of got overwhelmed um, but we're going to be going over a lot of things in today's episode uh, with this game, uh, reason why I felt like we won the game, etc, etc. But let's get into the recap of the game as Leon Dreisaitl started off the goal scoring for the Edmonton Oilers on a shorthanded goal there, uh, putting the Edmonton Oilers up by one nothing. It was a great start to the game. It was something that we needed for sure um, to kind of get the team energized and ready to go. But then the Toronto Maple Leafs kind of got energized because they were still on the power play at the time. Adam Brooks got a nice one it kind of like tipped right off of him Spencer he tried to make it like a pass or a shot or something and it tipped right off to, uh, off of Adam Brooks and then VC with a wide open net excuse me um he got a wide open net he got his second of the season and honestly that Kerfoot VC Nylander line was buzzing last night for the Toronto Maple Leafs one of the better lines for them and then McDavid uh tied right back up the game with his fourth goal of the season it was a nice shot from Bear from the point it got tipped by McDavid it was a beautiful goal and uh got myself energized but then we took a really dumb penalty. John Tavares scored on the power play. And then Mitch Monner with the empty net. Uh, it was a really close game all the way until the end, honestly. And uh, I will give Toronto tips. They played very well. Toronto came out gunning. And same with the Edmonton Oilers. They made it a very entertaining game between these two teams. And I, I was very excited about it. Uh, I did a little bit of a stream. I accidentally shorted the stream a little late because I thought the game was going to start later, but then it only started at five and I'm like, oh no. Um, but the game honestly wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to quickly go over it because I'm pretty tired. I got some other stuff to do today. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of review and talk about some players right quick. Defensively, I don't think we did too too bad. Defensively, yeah, we made some uh, turnovers, some mistakes here and there. Adam Larson definitely wasn't the greatest. I've been here actually hearing that we're going to be doing seven D men, uh, which I think is a good idea because that's what the Toronto Maple Leafs were doing. Uh, not last game, but the game before that, they were playing seven D men, and I don't think it's a bad idea, especially since Evan Bouchard is there and we have a chance to uh, throw Evan Bouchard into the lineup and give him a chance and see how well he does. Or even play Caleb Jones as well and see how well he does in that seventh spot as well. The defense score is not that bad, and there's some pretty good guys up on there. Adam Larson and Cuckoo, I think, still did good. Adam Larson had some dumb giveaways that really uh, caused some goals throughout the game. But still, Adam Larson's a defensive defenseman. I know a lot of Oilers fans are hating Adam Larson for his bad turnovers, but he's being put in some bad situations where he's not really getting help. Uh, I'm pretty sure the one goal, I can't remember which goal it was, but on the VC one where he had an empty net, um, two of our players were exiting the zone way before we actually got the puck out of the zone. They were already predicting that the puck was going to get out, which they we really don't have any support on our D. Um, the, our D is just really reliant on getting that puck out of the zone, which our wingers need to go down there and help the team out a little bit. Uh, I also want to talk about Zach Cassian. Um, I talked about him in the last episode. Um, he didn't do too bad in this game. He seemed like he was getting a little bit of energy going, but he got demoted, and Paul Yarvi got slotted right up on that first line and got a lot of great A scoring chances for the team. I'm pretty sure he got four. Uh, grade A scoring chances for the Edmonton Oilers when he got put up on that top uh, on that top line, which was absolutely perfect, and he was generating a lot of momentum with McDavid and Nuge. So I'm hoping that Tippett going forward um, puts Pulleyarvi uh, alongside of McDavid and Nuge because I think it's going to be a really good night. James Neal, uh, he played his first game tonight. Uh, didn't do too bad. He was on the power play for most of it, um, and uh, he wasn't too bad. Uh, I mean, a few mistakes, but that's James Neal for you. Uh, but but he wasn't really noticeable out there. He was skating around. Uh, definitely not your defensive prowess guy. He's definitely our power play specialist um, out there for the Edmonton Oilers. So he wasn't too noticeable. Leon Dreisaitl was uh, the other guy that got a goal. 
Well, once again, Leon Drysdale has just been playing great. And yet, Kayla Yamamoto. I haven't talked about very much about Kayla Yamamoto, but this guy has been absolutely amazing for the Edmonton Oilers. And I hope he continues against the Winnipeg Jets, which they are going to be going without Patrick Laine. As you guys all know, there was a big blockbuster uh, today uh, that uh, sent Patrick Laine to Columbus and Peter Locke Dubois to the, uh, the Winnipeg Jets. So it's a big deal. Big, uh, big stuff, and I'm practically going to end things here. Um, I don't really don't have any very much else to talk about. Um, plus, I'm tired and exhausted. It's been a long week. Um, don't worry, guys. The OGR on Monday will be back to normal. Uh, I just need a couple days to breathe and to, uh, I guess, um, rest. It's been a long week, so I'm going to take some time to rest and to kind of uh, uh, relocate my brain mentally um, and, uh, yeah, get better, you know. The, the usual shit, the usual downs and the ups and the, the usual. So uh, I'll be back at her again on Monday. Uh, I won't be uploading throughout the weekend, but for today, uh, and that's basically it. But uh, great game by the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, was one of the games that I thought uh, um, we could have won. I wasn't upset that we lost the game. I felt like we uh, could have won, but, you know, Sometimes it doesn't always bounce your way, right? We got the grade eight bounces last game, and uh, we got some lucky stuff in the last game. And the Toronto Maple Leafs, they got some lucky bounces this game. And, I mean, that's just the way she goes. That's that's really the honest way that it honestly goes that way. Um, but I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Adios, amigos.